Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you've not been here before. I'm just going to do a as quick as possible mail video of what has arrived this week for my collections. So you'll see a lot of themes. We start with uh, Tochidao by Hironobu Yoshida. It's the original one from Genesis. Um, this is where I think I got them from. Um, and this is another Yoshida. This is the Pupitar. And another Yoshida. The Ipom. Yoshida's Tojidal again, but this is the uh, more recent one during the Sun and Moon era, I think. And also, again, Pupitar. Then we've got um, a Himamaru Ipom in the snow. Japanese. Um, got a Naoya Kimura Ipom, and we've got a Tokia Totodile from Shining Legends, I think. I can't remember what it was in Japanese. Um, so that's a separate pile, I guess, of randoms. Um, this is an Entei from Dark Rush, and the artist is, God knows, can't read it. Whatever that says. Um, it's not a particularly interesting card to me, but it's for my NT collection. Then we've got the Reverse Foil Mincino by Atsuki Nishida for my Mincino collection. We've got a Sui Mincino from the um, Zoroark deck, this one is. That's a Yoshida. Um, Frontier Brain Electivire, Japanese. A Yoshida uh, Murkrow. This, this, these are the next few are from one of my favorite places to buy cards, Cado Collectibles. Very good shop, shop with very nice people running it. Um, then we have this Lavita by Yoshida and the Glygar by Yoshida. Uh, Sekio's Breloom for my Breloom collection. I already had it for my Sekio collection, but I need two copies to have it in two different files. Uh, we'll put that up there for now. Then we've got some spares of other, again, Sekio. And uh, this one is Kirisaki doing the shiny Chinchino. Chirachino. So those can go there. Then we've got a uh, Hyogonosuke doing uh, Minun. And then there's some, just some from the new set, some prints of those, another one of that. Uh, we'll put those there. Again, another Entei, this is the Shining English version. And that one's by Ryota Fusei. Um, Atsukinishi de Chinchino, and in reverse. And then we've got the 0313, and this, oh, I like this one very much. This is uh, Mahu, and this is Saitu in reverse. Then we've got a Yoshida Kabuto, interesting. I think this might be his last card he did uh, from 2009. I can't remember what the set is. Um, and then another one of his works. This is, I'm obviously, this is for my Yoshida collection. This is the Pidgey and the Frontier Brain Skarmory as well. Um, pick this one up. This is the uh, mirror foil of Sekio's first card, the Murkrow. I, for some reason, hadn't got it. So we'll put that up there. Uh, and a mirror foil of um, Kawaiyo's uh, Electivire. And another Electivire. This one is by Megumi Higuchi. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm sort of half-heartedly collecting Electivires that I like. Um, this is an odd one. This is Koiki Saitu doing Stantler. And I just thought the, the setting was a bit weird. You know, it's uh, like hot and dry and doesn't feel correct for a Stantler. But anyway, interesting little card. Totally random card. I don't know who this artist is. Taka o Uno just appealed to me and it was very cheap, so pick that one up. 
Oh, I like this one a lot. This is uh, Kizuki and very stylized Sableye. Really lovely art. Very interesting card. Just picked that up as a random. Then we've got a couple of Akitsu in English, uh, Shinies from the new set, and a Koiki Saitu for my Sarah Ledge collection. And, oh, Kanako Eo doing um, Gardenia's Rosaraido. Rosaraid. Very, very nice. Um, this was just cheap and I quite liked it. It's Kano doing Toraitodon, uh, um, Gastrodon. Um, yeah. Don't know. These are some randoms I picked up because they were, they're in mint condition and they're cheap. So, you know, you can't really say no. That's Fukuda doing uh, Shiftry. Well, this is a nice one. This is one I hadn't got before for my uh, Arita collection. This is the um, gift box hollow version of the vending series uh, Moltres, very early piece of Arita art. Um, so, very pleased to pick that up. And I didn't pay a huge amount for it, I got it fairly cheap, so, well, comparatively cheap. And it's a card I didn't think I'd ever probably own, so that's a, a nice one to have. Um, Yoshida again, this is his hollow um, Pachirisu. Um, this is a, ra a very random one. This is um, this is half of a legend card in Japanese. This is the uh, Raikou half of uh, Entei Raikou, and I got this pretty cheap. So, and I think it's in very good condition. So, yeah, at some point I will have to find the other half. I don't like legend cards at all. This is probably the nicest of them and the nicest half of the nicest one, but. I've never liked legend cards at all. I think they're gross. Um, but I could fall in love with that. I mean, they're very furry, sort of woolly art. Yeah. Um, anyway, a curio. Don't quite know why I bought that. This, I, this was sent in error. Wrong card. I was, buy, I was trying to buy a different chinchina. Um, then we whisk through these and various bunnieries and um, chinchinos for my bunnery chinchino minchino collections oh nice plastic and minon here this is Naoki Saito um, I would like the Japanese of this I don't have that yet oh this is nice this is Kanako Eo again uh, doing Professor Juniper but obviously got it for my uh, Mincino collection. Another Mincino. Another Chinchino. Yes, yes, yes. There's the Sugimori original one. Uh, Yoshida's Madkip in Japanese. Uh, Yoshida's Torchic in Japanese. <sighs> A couple of uh, eye palms here. This Naoki Saito and Himamaru again. Is it the same one as that one? Yep, it's the same one as that one. I just that's, that's how insane I get in the middle of the night. I end up buying cards twice. Um, I got this because it's Kanako Eo. I mean, it's in Spanish, but uh, I don't tend to buy cards that aren't in English or Japanese. But you know, I love Kanako Eo and I like uh, the Chinchinos, so I thought I just it was cheap. Um, this one is Atsukanishida, quite a recent um, Chinchino, whereas this is an older Japanese promo Chinchino. And this one is by Mizui. One of my favorite cards of all time, um, Kanakoeo doing um, Eevee in Japanese. I would like the mirror foil of this, but it's too expensive really. Um, so um, I just think that is the cutest card ever created for Pokemon. It's, uh, yeah, there's something very special about it. It's, it's quite simple. Um, I just love it. Absolutely love that card. Uh, last two. Um, this is Rayuda Ueda doing the Burnt Tower. So it's a sort of 
it's sort of for my end collection, but it's as a sort of a side. Um, I just think it's an interesting card. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to take it out of the other plastic. For some reason, it's in three layers. It won't be for long. Um, and finally, uh, I picked up this, um, which I've never owned. It's a card that has been sort of on my radar for a long time as oh well I, I never thought I'd bother picking it up because I didn't think I particularly liked it but actually it is quite nice and because I'm trying to get every card by um, Yoshida at the moment I had to get a copy of this I didn't pay a great deal for it um, and it's in pretty good condition it's it's yeah it's in pretty good condition but if I was ever going to have it, I'm, I'm never going to have a PSA 10 of it. Um, that's just not viable. But this this is a good enough binder copy. So um, I will be doing a video at some point on Yoshida's cards. And uh, I've only got five, one, two, three. I think there are five left that I don't have. Um, I don't have an Oddish promo, McDonald's promo. Um, there's a the Anna Airlines promos of Pikachu and Larvitar I don't have because I can't find decent up I can't find clean enough mint enough copies of those that I can afford um, and I haven't got Rockets Wobbuffet or Rockets Suicune but other than that um, yeah so what is the best card I got today um, aesthetically I think this one wins um, this one I prob is probably the most pleasing to me because it's just a card I didn't think I didn't think I'd ever be able to afford or find a copy of for my you know whenever I get a new Arita card it's nice because there aren't many left that I still need to chase but um, it's uh, let's have a look at it see how you know it's it's a clean enough copy I've got a, a mint copy of um, the non-foil version from Vending Series already, but uh, that's nice. How it's, it's a bit off centre. It's a bit um, top to bottom. It's off off centre, but it's not bad. As I say, I didn't think I'd ever own a copy, so that's probably my most pleasing pickup of the week. Um, if the if the um, if this had been in absolutely mint condition obviously that would have that would have uh, but it's got it's got a little bit of scratching going on um, so uh, it's 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 okay it's not it's not chipped or anything or damage around the edges so it's just a little bit of surface that you get that with these glossy cards so there you go that is my pickups of the week